The Uganda National Examinations Board is embarking on a nationwide exercise to register learners in secondary schools for purposes of collecting continuous assessment sco scores with effect from term one of 2023. This is in accordance with the revised lower secondary school curriculum. Accordingly, all secondary schools are required to register with UNEP to be able to submit the CA scores of their learners. The Ministry of Education and Sports, through the National Curriculum Development Center, rolled out the revised lower secondary school curriculum in 2020. One of the major components of the revised curriculum is continuous assessment, school, or, or, or equally called school-based assessment. The first cohort or group of learners of this curriculum is joining senior three in 2023. Every subject in the curriculum has a component of continuous assessment, without which a learner shall not be graded in that subject by UNEB at the end of cycle, that is UCE. UNEB is required to uniquely identify learners during the process of continuous assessment, necessitating learners to have national identification numbers. Relatedly, secondary schools which will not have registered for CA, that is continuous assessment, will not be allowed by UNEB to register their learners for the end of cycle examinations. UNEB will communicate to the board. Schools without UNEB center numbers shall be required to apply for continuous assessment through the UNEB eServices portal. The URL or the address is eservices.uneb.ac.ug, but they will be given a circular to that effect. To facilitate the purpose, the process of uniquely identifying learners, this holiday, the National Identification and Registration Authority, is prioritizing regist registering and issuing NINs to all learners countrywide. To this end, NIRA shall set up registration desks at BOMA grounds across major cities countrywide. Learners in secondary schools are therefore encouraged to maximize this holiday to know their NIN registration status. They may visit the BOMA grounds or any nearest office of NIRA to them. The requirements for registration. Parents or guardians are advised not the following requirements for registration of learners. A copy of the parent's national ID, if the parent is still alive, or a copy of a blood, blood relative's national ID, if both parents are deceased, with a recommendation letter from the blood relative stating this type of re relation to the child. Uh, Nira would give uh, the format for that recommendation letter. The second requirement is a duly filled Nira enrollment or registration form that they call term form three, filled on behalf of the learner by either parent or guardian or teacher. That is if the learner is below 18 years of age, but by the learner, him or herself, if above 18 years of age. The third requirement is to present the learner for capture of biometrics, the face and fingerprints, together with the parent or guardian original national ID card. Now, these learners are uh, advice that if at all they previously registered, they don't need to go through the process again. They simply need to verify their registration status to determine whether to provide those fresh details again. NIRA registration is confirmed by a national identification number, and this can be done by downloading the child's NIN slip from NIRA website. And the URL for NIRA website is www.nira.go.ug. You can equally dial star 216 hash and follow the prompts that come along. Then the, uh, those will be able to verify the learner's NIN or the absence of it. Uh, thirdly, if uh, those two avenues are not possible, they can visit the nearest near office to confirm the status of the earlier registration. 
Um, we are co collaborating together with the Ministry of Education on this process. Uh, schools registered for continuous ass assessment have registered their learners on the Ministry of Education information management system. The Ministry of Education and Sport has now opened the EMIS portal to enable schools to register learners via the link which is www.emis.go.uk. The Ministry is advising that the portal will be open until January 31st, 2023 to allow all schools to upload learners who were not uploaded by 31st December 2023. Schools which will not have uploaded learners' data to the EMIS portal shall not be able to update the promotional or transitional status of learners in their schools. UNEB, now, UNEB shall use the school and learner information collected by the Ministry of Education and Sport as well as NIRA. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.